Okay, here we go. I'm currently, uh, this is my current uh, solar little setup. Got a uh, backup plug in the wall, 40 amp uh, charger from Stanley. Works really nice. Haven't needed it much lately. Um, I've installed my third uh, solar panel set, um, uh, Harbor Freight Kit, which this is your uh, charge controller. But all I'm doing with that, it's it's hooked hooked up right here to the back of this uh, back of this large uh, inverter, 2,000 watt, 4,000 peak inverter. I'm actually now running the uh, SunForce uh, 30 amp charge controller, which is doing a real good job. It's still in, in hard and fast charge. So once it gets down to the second light, the batteries are just about topped off. But uh, it keeps up real good. I run a um, 36-inch TV. Um, I keep the, uh, and I'm just running off the 800-watt uh, inverter from Stanley. It has been real good. I've used, I use it every day, every night. 36-inch TV, um, a laptop. I keep it charged up and plugged in. Um, I run lights. I use this charge controller just, just for the ports in the front, the 12 volt ports, uh, to run a couple lights in here. Uh, I got a camera system set up that I'm uh, uh, running off this at night, and then uh, I'll disconnect and go to hard power. But uh, anyhow, I'm gonna walk out. I've got a little project. I'm starting to build a little frame for uh, the three Harbor Freight kits. Uh, try to neaten it up a little bit. Get back to you. Yeah, it's nothing like cutting wood and doing a solar project outside and uh, running it off your solar. So that's what we'll be uh, running our skill saw. I believe it's a 13 amp uh, Makita. Chase that wire outside through the dog door there. That's what we're doing. Okay, here we go. These are the three Harbor Freight kits set up on their own stands. You can tell by the, I don't know if you can see that or not, the dark one on the end here. That's actually the uh, older one. These uh, other two kits are the new ones. I guess the sun has already started its uh, break-in of the panels. But yeah, we got a mess back here with wires. We need to straighten this up. So currently uh, building a little frame for it, or big frame. Hopefully uh, two people wouldn't be a problem to pick it up and carry it. Uh, once we move out of here, so here we go. Alright, got that set up temporarily, braced by a hammer there. Just wanted to get the correct angle, the angle that Harbor Freight had on them, which is, works for my area, 30 degrees, so it's kind of how I did it. I just brought it up beside it and made sure everything was the same angle, and now I'm going to go cut my support. Here's a tip on saving some lumber. I need a, an angle on this end here, and a square end. Instead of putting my angle there and then measuring 
my 22 inches, which is what I need. I just made a mark at 22 inches here. Squared it off. Just fine. Now I'm going to take it to, uh, uh, which side do I want to come from? Go to 30 degrees on my uh, speed square. Now, when I cut this piece here, 22 inches squared along, 30 degrees. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a cutoff here, which is already gonna have a long point, which uh, just saves me some material length. Just an idea. So far, I'm still able to at least move the frame around by myself without a problem. It's got a little weight to it, but it's manageable. So, there we go. Now, transferring the panels. Alright, oh, I need a corner nail. Watch that bounce. So, that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, we uh, built that panel or this rack system so that I could expand uh, another right. set above it. Ran out of recording room, so I had to shoot this again. Anyhow, I did this so uh, that I could expand the, uh, let me back away from here, expand the panel system later. There's all the old Harbor Freight, freight kits. Um, right here, this is a two by six, so I'll be able to ex extend my two by four or my second rack system on up. Use this two by two here as another resting point and clip point for the panels. So uh, anyhow, that's where we're at so far. This is three Harbor Freight kits, a uh, little custom frame. Okay, Thanks so for there you have it. This is uh, this is where I keep my batteries. I do have it vented, some storage containers here. Um, let's get a look here. I don't know how well that's going to come up, but there's four batteries in this one, and wires go out the back and into, a, into the bottom one, but I did run some venting one side, the bottom one I actually cut it out and at uh, vents are on the uh, top of the other side, but well, it holds up to 750 pounds, they're pretty durable boxes and in a, my temporary situation here uh, it's perfect for me, just got one more dolly to pick up from Harbor Freight that'll, uh, that'll pick these guys up, get an extended platform on the bottom and Make it a good little mobile unit for me. But thanks for watching. I need to hunt down that charge controller now. That's the next project. I need a better board for mounting uh, my goodies here. See you guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.